Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a few minutes and record this little um, update video for you guys. Um, if you haven't seen my story, then the playlist is linked down below. This is going to be a um, sort of four years later update on what, you know how I feel, um, what this time of year is like for me, etc. So um, my children's birthday is on Tuesday, April 28th. Today is Friday. Um, and pretty much I hate the month of April. So that kind of sums it up a little bit. I don't enjoy this month at all. It makes me sad um, in a number of different ways for a number of different reasons. Um, first and foremost, as a mother, um, it just makes you sad when your child is growing up. So Liam is almost four and he is getting bigger and he's getting smarter and he's not a little baby anymore and that makes me really sad and um, you know I can't stop it and I can't make him a baby again and I love the way he is now and I love that he's such a big boy but it's hard for me because I know that the probability of us having a child is pretty much slim to none I mean we have not been on any form of birth control or you know protection or anything like that for the last four years and obviously I haven't been pregnant so I think that the chances of us getting pregnant are probably non-existent really and that really makes me sad because I would love to have another child I would love to give Liam another sibling someone that he could have here with him to play with and you know have that sibling bond um, but I am not going to be able to give that to him and it makes me really, really sad and I, I really have a hard time with it, um, especially around this time of year just because it reminds me that he is supposed to have a sibling here with him and he doesn't. So I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. I mean, I know that there's lots of women out there that want to have children, um, and can't have children. And I am thankful that I have him. It's just that I wish that I could give him a sibling. Um, and it's just not in the cards for us. And that that's really upsetting. So I not only, you know, feel down because he's getting older, as every mom does. I feel down because I can't give him a sibling. I feel down because I can't have another baby. And it's something that I would really love to experience again. Um, and I get really sad just because you know I start to feel like it's not fair why did this happen to us so I guess um, you know now to talk about how I feel kind of four years later um, I have to say that the pain now is just as oh, I'm not harsh but just as bad as it was then mm -hmm. but I think it's a different kind of pain um, it's still a pain of loss, but it kind of transforms and turns into something different. Um, like, you know, back then it was like, is this really happening? Why is this happening? And now it's kind of like, why do I still feel like this? Why is it still so hard to deal with this? And I guess uh, an example of that is that I hate the word twins. I literally hate it. I hate when people are talking around me and they say the word twins. I hate that people think it's okay to talk to me and talk about twins or talk about a story that they heard about twins or anything like that. I absolutely hate it. It grates on me so bad. And um, and I don't know how to explain that to anybody because it's just a word, but it's a word that I can't stand. And... I know that's hard for a lot of people to understand and I don't know if people um, recognize how I react when they start to talk about it but I usually remove myself from the conversation um, you know remove myself from the situation from the room or anything like that I just really can't stand it and um, another thing that's really hard for me is seeing like multiples out in public um, especially if they're younger and it maybe it's like the age of what my children would be and younger that's really hard for me but it's really hard for me and um i remember not that long ago we went to a restaurant and when we were pulling into the parking lot of the restaurant this couple was walking in 
with twin boys and I thought to myself oh this is gonna be great but it's okay they're going in you're not gonna see them you know fine and then we went in and waited in the little lobby and then here they come they sat right across from us with their twin boys and it was absolutely awful my heart started beating really fast my eyes instantly teared up um it was just horrible and I hated absolutely every second of it and I really hate that it makes me feel that way and I have a hard time when people get pregnant I have a hard time even though I'm happy with them I have a hard time dealing with it like I'm totally fine when the baby comes and I mean I don't I don't know how to explain it but I don't like to be around women that are pregnant I don't know if it's you know I'm jealous because they get to experience something that I didn't get to finish um, I don't know why I feel like that but I really I really hate it even though I'm happy that there's new babies it's just hard and I don't know that it's ever gonna get any easier because it doesn't feel like it's gonna get any easier and you know I'm still sad a lot of the time and I don't know if people think I'm over it or what but especially this month I really have to put on a brave face and um, you know just really try to get through it and it's we do um, march with the March of Dimes and that kind of makes it um, you know make something that we can put our focus into but it's hard for us because their birthday is on the 28th and then our daughter passed away the following day and so it's hard not to surround Liam's birthday in sorrow and we try really hard not to do that but it's hard for me too because I feel like we aren't acknowledging her um, you know when we're celebrating and that's really hard for me and so we just do it kind of personally and you know we add touches here and there just for us personally um, but it's not something that I like to share with everybody you know like at his birthday party or whatever um, and I know everybody grieves differently and deals with things differently but that's just our own our own way of dealing with it I guess so um, anyways now that I'm getting all emotional I just wanted to you know kind of share my experience with you guys and let you know um, how I'm feeling and it's four years later and I still feel the pain and I still feel the loss and I still wonder you know why did this happen to us why is it so hard for us to get pregnant why couldn't we have a healthy pregnancy healthy babies um, and it's just something that we will never have the answers to so it's it's really hard and I'm hoping that um, you know one day it gets better and one day it'll be easier and even though I'll never you know forget about our daughter um, I just hope that someday it'll be easier because right now it's still really hard and I don't think a lot of people understand that um, but um, I am happy most of the time I do have my periods of time where I get sad and um, but I you know look at my son and I try to be thankful and try to be grateful that we have him and that he's healthy um, but it's still it, it sucks basically in <laughs> in really simple terms it sucks so um, my heart goes out to everybody who has lost a child my heart goes out to everybody who has experienced anything like what we experienced um, and you know that's just where we are it's been four years and it still hurts a lot so anyways I'm gonna go now before I start to look really crazy here on the camera but um, I thank you all for watching this video and uh, like I said if you don't know my whole story then you can see the playlist down below I didn't want to go into all that um, in this video so um, anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later bye They said we are the Pattons. This is Charlie, I'm Sarah, and our son Liam. First of all, we want to thank everybody for being here today. I know it's not the greatest day, but we really, really appreciate your support of this amazing organization as it is very close to our hearts.
Charlie and I had a difficult time getting pregnant, but after what seemed like a lifetime, we were overjoyed to learn that I was finally expecting. We received more good news when we found out we were having twins. My pregnancy was completely normal until I reached 25 weeks. Out of nowhere, I went into preterm labor. And although the doctors at Riverside tried to stop it, my beautiful, tiny babies were born two days later on April 28, 2011. Reagan Lila came first, weighing only one pound, nine ounces, followed by her twin brother, Liam Charles, who weighed one pound, 15 ounces. Charlie and I were excited to meet our babies, but scared of what was to come. Tragically, our beautiful baby girl passed away the day after her birth. The doctors did everything they could, but she was just too small and not strong enough to stay with us. There are no words to describe how this felt. We had just lost our daughter, but still had our son fighting in the NICU for his life. We can describe those few days as the absolute worst of our life. Liam remained in the NICU at Riverside for one week and then was transferred to the CHKD NICU where he spent 100 days or just over three months. He faced countless challenges including surgery on his heart, blood transfusions, six weeks on a ventilator, and many unstable moments. Because of research partially funded by the March of Dimes, we were able to bring Liam home on August 6, 2011. Although Liam still required oxygen and monitoring at home, we are so grateful for the work the March of Dimes put in that helped to make his departure from the NICU happen. Now here we are, four years later, honored to be chosen as the March of Dimes ambassador family for the peninsula. Participating in the March of Dimes allows us to give back to an incredible organization and helps with grieving the loss of our daughter. Although she doesn't walk by our side, we know she is with her twin brother at all times, and not a day goes by that we don't think of her. We are grateful for the people we have met through the March of Dimes and look forward to many more years of new friends, new memories, and a lifetime with our son. Thank you. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we're all here. So uh, just keep that in mind, and next year we'll raise even more money.